Hey everybody, Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Saturday, August 10th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in the NFL in just one moment on Saturday Slate. We'll get to that, but first a quick note. Listen, I'm going to tell you about the Doc Sports Betting Journal in just a moment. A little background on me and Doc Sports. Way back when, when I was a young kid, uh, running around the streets of South Omaha, that's where I grew up, South Omaha, Nebraska, and uh, my dad used to take me, you know, about once a month to this little tobacco shop where he'd buy his chewing tobacco and my sports magazines. And of course, uh, as everybody kept it quiet, but sports betting going on in the back with, you know, lined boards and all that kind of stuff. And so we would go because my favorite thing to do as we got closer to football season was to purchase a couple of college football and NFL annuals. And every year as a little kid growing up in Omaha, Nebraska, I would buy Street and Smith's college football annual, loved that magazine back then. And I would buy the Docs Sports betting journal or annual this booklet that came out back then with the of course the same logo you got now with the football player with the medic equipment on and all that kind of good stuff so little did i know that eventually uh, right out of high school i would move to las vegas not only do that but uh, had planned on getting into the world of sports betting and because i grew up in it back home in omaha thought i'd do it legally out in nevada and that's exactly what we did 1988-89 my first radio job was hosting a sports betting show on a radio station in las vegas KLAV radio back in the day uh, in the late 80s and then we did the Stardust line all that kind of stuff but back to the point I did meet, uh, meet Doc uh, 17 18 years ago I would guess uh, when I was working for National Sports Services great guy and of course had that unbelievable Big Ten game of the year every year and, and of course I met his son Wade on a golf course about 15 16 years ago with a mutual friend and played golf with him a couple of times and you know, it's just kind of funny the way life works because when I'm eight nine ten years old I'm buying the Doc Sports Journal in South Omaha Nebraska in a tobacco shop with sports betting going on behind the back and now you're working for him I've been with them for about a year and a half and I bring this all up and I promise I'll get to the free pick in just a second, but I bring this all up uh, because I think the best $11 you'll spend this preseason in football is on that Doc Sports betting journal. Let me tell you a little bit about what you're going to get. It is the 48th annual edition of the Doc Sports Journal. It's a pocket-sized sports book, sports uh, annual, uh, 160 pages, complete college, complete NFL schedule, every game sorted by week. You get valuable uh, weekly betting trends. You get unique betting advice articles. Uh, you get complete NFL and college team information, 2018 complete college football stats, last year's entire season, every single game, essential stats section that you're going to love, free shipping, 11 bucks, you can't beat that with a stick, and then check out all the different matchup and betting trends that they have, uh, close to I think it was 170 of them when I was checking it out. You can look at Air Force Boise State, this year's upcoming matchup between these two teams, pages 31 and 119 of the journal and you'll see that, believe it or not, Boise State has only covered one of the last seven meetings with the Air Force Falcons. And listen, that was a couple of years ago, last year, a push. Here's the thing about these two teams, as you read up more on it, Boise State searching for a new quarterback. They've got one, and they expect them to be good, but they also lost their top running back. A lot of people think Air Force is going to be better than advertised, better than last year. We'll see if that comes to fruition. But again, you can check stats out like that all day, all night long as you're getting ready for the football season and use stats uh, four matchups throughout the course of the season. Pretty cool stuff. All you got to do is Google search Docs Sports Journal. Go to Google, search Docs Sports Journal. Uh, the first result will be the order page for the annual, or you can just go to the top of the homepage, docsports.com, and link up through that. So really cool, uh, the Docs Sports Betting Journal, 48th annual edition. And uh, boy, I got them when they were <laughs> maybe two or three years after they've been starting to be published, four or five years after that so great to be a part of it and i hope you'll take advantage of that again just 11 bucks free shipping all that good stuff all right uh, free pick coming up in just a moment wanted to mention first what happened to us last night uh, we did have our 10 and 0 street snapped we ended up going two and two last night overall uh, 12 and two with our last 14 plays now going back to sunday all sports covered two and oh now nfl preseason we're done uh, with nfl preseason as far as premium picks for week one we went two and oh we won on thursday night and came back and won on friday with the Minnesota Vikings. And how about Kyle Sloter? I mean, write it 
down. The guy's never taken a regular season snap in his two years in the NFL. The Vikings backup. Uh, but he's now, I think it's 78 for 106. Eight touchdowns, no interceptions in preseason play in the two years that he's been in the league. He and Sean Mannion are battling it out right now for that backup spot to uh, Cousins with the Minnesota Vikings. So be sure to keep thought on that and see if Slaughter gets the start next week after Mannion got the start on Friday. One real quick note about Slaughter also is, you know, if he's playing the fourth quarter and he played in late portions of the game last night, you've got a quality preseason quarterback, uh, something you might want to factor into your handicap when you're talking about some of these preseason games that might get away from you in the final quarter. He was six of seven yesterday and threw one touchdown. And again, eight touchdowns, no picks in two preseasons, and he's about oh, a 70 plus percent passer. Uh, something just to keep note of. We played him again last night. We got the win with the Minnesota Vikings. Thought Taysom Hill might have something to say about that as he was doing whatever he wanted at one portion of the third and fourth quarter, but uh, the Vikings got the win 34-25. They were an underdog. We're happy about that. And we got to play for you on Saturday. Just a second. Last night's CFL, we also won in the CFL. Uh, we are now hitting 67% for the season. We are now 1-11-76, going back about a decade in the CFL. I'm done for this week in the CFL, but don't miss next week. It'll be posted on Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And of course, we'll remind you as we get closer to Thursday, but now 67% this CFL season. Uh, the WNBA win streak came to an end last night. We looked to bounce right back on Saturday. We had a four-unit play last night. Uh, that winning streak with those elite-level WNBA plays, 4-0 this week, still intact. Last night, a four-unit play that did go down, but uh, we're still 26 13 and 2 with our last 41 WNBA plays. Don't miss out on Saturday's bounce back. Major League Baseball, tough one, man. We were looking at a 3 and 1 day. We were looking at 13 and 1 with the last 14 plays. And then the Nationals blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth. They've had problems with that pin during the course of the season earlier. They made some nice adjustments over the past month. They've been playing well. Built a 6 to 3 lead. Uh, and it looked like Strasburg was going to get it done on the mound for them. But the bottom of the ninth, uh, everything fell apart in that. Washington bullpen that we saw a couple of months ago or six weeks ago sure did come up and uh, bite us in the rear end uh, last night. Ninth inning loss to the New York Mets as the Mets got four runs at the bottom of the ninth. But again, we're 12 and 2 with the last 14 plays overall. And on Saturday, I've got WNBA. That'll be available 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. We'll look to go to 27 and 13 with our current run in the WNBA. Major League Baseball, even though we lost last night, we had that five day win streak. We'll look to bounce right back. I've got a nice five unit play over at docsports.com. Baseball available Saturday at 11:30 a.m. Eastern, 8:30 a.m. Pacific. Don't forget about the football packages, college football and the NFL. We were number one last year in both college football and NFL combined over at DocSports.com. And uh, again, we're already off to a 2-0 start as we went 2-0 in preseason week one. So go check those prices and those packages and find the one that's best for you over at DocSports.com on my personal homepage. Real quick programming note before I get to today's free pick. Uh, we will have college football one more over under wins total. That'll be on Sunday's video and uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Texas Longhorns so be sure to check back for that and a free pick from Sunday 5 a.m. Eastern 2 a.m. Pacific time Sunday morning and one more final note before the free pick NASCAR where we're now 11 and 3 going all the way back to the 1st of May where we're up well over what is it about $4,000 now for $100 per unit betters NASCAR plays for Michigan will be posted tonight Saturday night by 11 p.m. Pacific time and uh, we'll have our matchups posted for Sunday's race, Saturday night. Again, 11 p.m. Pacific time at the latest. All right, let's get to our free pick for Saturday. We're going to turn to the NFL preseason. As I mentioned, no more premium picks for us. We'll wrap it up at 2-0, but free pick here as we look to get right back in the win column. We lost our free pick yesterday in baseball. Let's get right back this time in the NFL. We're going to grab the points here with the Cincinnati Bengals. I probably don't have to tell you that Andy Reid doesn't win, doesn't cover in the preseason. We saw it when he was with the Eagles. We've seen it since he's been in Kansas City. And you can probably bet that you're going to see very little, if any at all, of Patrick Mahomes and a lot of the key starters and key players on this offense for the KC Chiefs. So uh, that means you'll likely see Henny. Uh, just not a great quarterback rotation when you talk about the KC Chiefs after Mahomes. We don't have to worry about him. Uh, maybe a series on Saturday. And again, Andy Reid doesn't put a lot into winning or even playing these games close. Uh, what he's doing is evaluating a talent that might be able to be added to the roster. Guys who are maybe fighting for second, you know, backup jobs, second string jobs, 
things of that nature. That's been what he's done for his entire head coaching career. We think it does it again in week one on Saturday. As far as Cincinnati, new coach, some new schemes, and also I think we got a quarterback rotation for Cincy that should be okay when it comes to week one in preseason play. I mean, you've got Dalton. Don't know if we're going to see much of him, but you got Ryan Finley, who's a young gun, and he's going to test deep waters in this particular game. Maybe Jeff Driscoll after that. I think Cincinnati is the play here, and so we are recommending a play on the Cincinnati Bengals plus the points over those Kansas City Chiefs. All right, that's going to do it for us for Saturday. We'll be right back here on Sunday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Hope you checked us out on VSIN on Friday. Looks like we're going to be on there a whole bunch of Fridays throughout the uh, football and basketball season in studio with Patrick Maher. Anyway, again, free pick for Saturday, Cincinnati Bengals plus the points. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Put Saturday in the win column right back here Sunday morning.